Vamos ver se tem mais pinto. So today is day three for SQL learning. Part. Okay. So in day three, what we'll be learning? Uh, specifically, just to mention, instead we have started with the DQL part. DQL part will still continues. Uh, rather, we can combine some of the DQL as well as DDL stuffs for today, as well as we'll be covering. In DQL, we can cover the joining stuffs, join, uh, union all operator, subquery. Okay, any other things are there? No, those are the three things we'll be going to cover in today's session. But I mean, join is the main aspects. Uh, I think you know joins. Uh, I mean, I think I have learned the join from Python side as well somewhere. But uh, the main concept are yeah, hi Haris, good evening. We just started the session. So now let's start the thing one by one. The first topic for today is subquery. Okay. So what is subquery? If I take input, I mean input data from a query from a different query. Okay. Let's let me show you. So it should be the same table again. Select star from employee. Let me check the table once more time. Okay. So this is the table. The same table is this, whatever we have learned in yesterday session. So there is employee ID, the primary key, then employee first name, last name, experience of that employee, salary of that employee, which department the particular employee is working on, and the particular date of birth, DOB. Okay. This is the table. Now my requirement is uh, find out the salary of, I mean, that particular person in IT department whose salary is the maximum. Okay. So the question is find out the salary of that particular IT person in that particular company. How to find that thing? So let me do the stuff step by step. There is select start from employee. Let me find, okay, where department equal IT. It should be enclosed by code that we land in filtering condition. Okay. Now I need to get the max salary. Okay, so I can find the maximum salary of the IT, I mean, uh, the particular IT employees, the maximum salary should be 80,000. But who is receiving the max? I cannot determine the same thing over here in the same query. Okay, so how to determine it? Let me pass this thing. Let me take the output of this query as an input of another query. How to do that? Then it, it should be called as a subquery. Okay. Or rather, I can also do the same operation by another query. So I'm just doing select star from employee. Okay. Where? Okay. I have to put the department equal IT, obviously. Otherwise, maybe there are another person, maybe HR is receiving the same 80,000. And salary equal i'm just copying and pasting it over here sorry okay so i get the output from this query that is eighty thousand, and passing the same value over here now i am getting the real data so the my answer should be sujit kumar Sujit Kumar is having the experience of six years and he is receiving 80,000 salary. Okay. Now I can do the same thing in a subquery manner. I can just put where salary in within bracket. I'm passing the entire stuffs that I'm 
I mean that I wrote it over here. So just let me run it. It is I mean returning the same thing, eighty thousand, and that should be used as an input of this where clause. Okay, so if I run the entire stuffs over here, you can get the desired output. So over here, this is called the sub query. Okay, so I'm getting output from one query and it's getting passed to another query. That is understandable, hopefully. And just like the similar kind of stuff, you can do just like this way. I can also put something just like I can uh, do select star from employee once more. I'm just giving another example. Okay. I'm picking up. Okay. So I'm just doing select star from employee. On top of that, I'm taking the data select again star from. I'm taking data from this table. I'm not putting the table name over here. Select star from employee. On top of that, again, I'm putting a select star from this. I need to put an alias over here. Suppose B. It should be returning the same result. So it's returning the main data set. I'm just doing a select star from again this data set whose name is P. Okay. So this is the concept. This is been used as a sub query. Okay. Any doubt? If there is any doubt or any stuck point or any point uh, you want to discuss, kindly ask me. Okay. Hopefully, now this is a simple concept. The next thing is set operator. So while doing the while while learning the set operator, first of all, the main condition when set operator can be operated. Set operator can be operated between multiple tables, but those tables should be having same number of columns as well as it should be the column name should be also same. The column data should be same. Otherwise, we cannot do the union operation. Because what is union operation? It will be merging the rows vertically. Let me show you an example. Union, union, I mean, those are the different kind of steps actually. Yeah. Union, union, all intersection. So this is, I mean, whatever we have learned in set theory, we, if we have two or multiple sets, we are doing a union thing. So whatever the thing should be done over there, over here, between tables, we'll be doing the same steps. But we should be remembering that uh, union thing should be, I mean, union, union all, intersection, whatever we will be doing, we just have to remember whatever tables we are using, the tables should be having same number of columns as well as each of the columns should be containing same kind of data. Okay. So uh, for an hands-on example, how to do that, I have to create some tables. Okay. Before creating tables, I want to cover my last slide. We can create table from another table. Okay, here we can show DDL and DQL in a single statement. And we can create a table from another table. How to do that? Let me show you. So, uh, suppose I'm creating a new table called create table employee underscore it only it employees information should be there other information just like buit bpo those information should not be there okay how to create that i'll be creating these stuffs from my employee table itself as keyword should be there select star from employee okay where department equal it so i'm filtering it i know the, what should be the result the same data set it will be pushed to this one and 
the table is not generated over here. So it will create this table and push this data to this table. And it will, when it will be creating, it will be checking for what schema means what particular column we need to configure. It will take the reference from this select query. It will be creating the columnar structure from this select query and create this employee ID table. I've executed it. If I can refresh, I can see employee ID table has been created. If I just put a select star from employee ID, you can see only ID persons are there. Similarly, I'm creating a BPO team as well. It's also been executed. If I just search with BPO, I can get it. Okay, there are two BPO persons in the company. So I have enlisted the BPO teams in a particular table that is called employee BPO. And I have also enlisted the IT persons in a particular team that is called employee IT, that table. Okay, so how, why we have done, done this particular steps? We have done these steps because we'll be performing the union operation. Okay. Union or union all this kind of steps. Let me learn union and union all because we have created this table because we need same number of columns as well as same kind of data. Each of the tables should be having same kind of data. The data is different. You know, one is from IT sector and the one is from BPO sector. So we'll be doing operation between these two tables. The data is different. Of course, the data should be different, but the data type is same. The containers data, that means employee ID is there, employee first name is there, the column names are also same. So there'll be no issue to perform this operation. So moving to the set operator. How to do that? I'll be doing the two tables will be performing over here, not two only, this table should be also there. So how to do that? Select star spelling mistake over here. So I'm doing select star from employee BPO, put an union in between, then select star from employee ID. I can put everything in a single line also. I don't need to worry about. Okay. If I run this thing, I can see the data has been merged. From BPO table, we have only these two records. These two records over there. From employee IT tables, we have these three records. So we have performed union operation. So the resultant data set should be this. Okay. We, we have union all operation two. So what is the difference? I'm just putting union all. Running it. We think, I think we can get the same output. So union all did not work over here. So what is the difference between union all and union? So while doing the merging part, if any duplication occurs, okay, union operation will remove that duplication. It will only consider the unique values. But union all, it will be merging all the stuffs. It will not check whether anything has been duplicated or not. Okay. So let's check an example. I'm doing uh, BPO stuff should be there. Instead of doing the IT employee, I'm just taking employee, the main mother table itself. Okay. I'm doing 
union all first. So the first two records should be BPO and the other row should be the mother table itself starting from here. Okay. But if we do just use simple union over here. You can see that the top two is top two records are BPO, but the other thing and the BPO has not been captured from other table because BPO records are already been inserted over here from this statement. It will be checking for this statement and when merging the data, it will be checking that no BPO. I mean, already BPO department's candidates are available. So no need to include that thing in the final result set. That is union operation. And that is the main difference between union and union all. Okay. So there is another operation that is. Okay. Someone joins. Yeah. I think a new person says join. So if you, I mean, uh, find any stuck point, we are learning SQL over here. So this is third day uh, of SQL. So if there is any stuck point or anything, please uh, I mean, ask me questions. Okay, sir. Okay. So instead of union, let's use intersect. As you know, the Venn diagram, we know what is the intersect means over here. It should be just taking the common portion. Okay. Intersection or intersect? Yes. So we are doing an intersection operation between BPO table. There is only BPO records and the employee table. So both of them, from both of the table, we have common records only for these two tables and these two records. That's why it has returned this common records. Okay. <clears throat> So if I just change this thing to employee IT table, then there should not be any common columns between these two tables. This table is containing BPO employee. This table is com I mean, having IT employee. Okay. If we just run it, then it should be having zero records. Yes. Okay. There is no column and no records which are common. Okay, any any doubt from set operators from anyone? Anyone? Nothing? Just keep remember that while doing the set operation, I'm just repeating it more. I mean, once more time, it's very much crucial point. So while doing the set operation between tables, the table should be having same number of same number of columns and the same column types as well. Otherwise, the union operation will be failing. Give me some second. Sorry for that. The next topic and the last topic of today's session is joints. So it's very much crucial thing actually. Uh, Join actually join concept should be clear first. I mean that can be used in our Python classes as well. And I mean if you can do any I mean Spark thing or anything related to data, so joins is one of the key concept because in the first session we learned relational database management system. There we have we have seen that one or two multiple tables should be having common columns. Based on the common columns, we can set relationship between two or multiple tables. Okay. So that thing we need to learn. We need to find out what are the common columns between multiple tables. And based on two columns, those two columns, we can join these two tables. And we can fetch data from one table to another table. Okay. This can, this can be happened from multiple tables as well. 
there'll be no issue. So join is a crucial thing. So why we need joints? So if you can cover the second class, we are preparing the table in normalized form. So there we are removing partial dependency between a big table. The columns, the partial dependency of each of the columns in a big table. That's why we are splitting up the tables into multiple tables, having primary key and foreign key concepts. So based on this primary key and foreign key, we are joining between these two tables to get back the data again from one table to another table by setting up the relationship. So that is called join. Give me some second. Let me take some water. I have some throat problem over here. I'm not sure why. Okay. So if there is any stuck point while learning the join, kindly stop me and ask me questions. So I prepared a data set over here to learn the join over here. So this is a data set. This is another data set. This data set is come, I mean, containing employee ID and employee age, these two columns. And this data set is containing employee ID and designation. Employee ID is a common column in the same organization to taking the data. So employee ID cannot be different. So uh, I cannot uh, tell that particular employee ID is one for the table is referring some other person and this employee ID is one referring some other person. This should not be the scenario because in overall organization, employee ID should be unique. Okay, so age 45, the particular employee's designation should be data scientist. I mean, I have not captured the first name, last name of the employee. Maybe that is in another table. But over here, I'm trying to uh, just map the employee ID with employee age as well as the designation. So based on this common column, employee ID, we can map this information. Same kind of thing for employee ID 2. Okay, for employee ID 3, I do not have the designation over here. So I cannot get the designation. What is the designation for employee ID 3? I cannot get it. Just like the same thing, employee uh, ID 4, he or she is an analyst. So what should be his or her age? Accordingly, there is nothing over here as well. Okay. Now, how join can be done? In join, we have this kind of main joins in our join by default if we just put join keyword between them it will be doing the inner join what inner join will be doing okay first of all we will be joining by this common column that is called employee id from each of the table okay and we will be picking up designation and employee id from the second table Okay, so common table, I mean common columns will be checking for common data too. So the first row will be mapped with this one. The second row will be mapped with this one. The third row, the employee ID is three. There is nothing for three. Even from here, four, there is nothing four over here. No four is present over here. So we have only two records matched. Okay, so inner join means uh, only the common employee IDs can be taking into participation over here. Okay. Left join. I'll be coming again while learning the SQL query, the joining part. If there is any stuck point, kindly stop me and ask me questions. What is left join? While doing the joining, while performing the joining steps, there should, I can put one table as a left table. That should be our main table. And there should be another table we can consider as a right table. While doing the left join operation, the left table should be taking as the reference part. While doing the right join, this is a right 
left outer join we can also tell left outer join right outer join anything so while doing the left join the left table should be taking playing the big role over here we will be taking reference from the i mean now uh, the taking reference the employee id from the left table while doing the left join and while doing the right join we'll be taking reference employee id of the right table okay so first doing i'm putting this thing as a left table i'm putting this table as a right table if we perform the left join so i'll be picking up all the employee ids the common columns based on which we are joining all the data should be present from this column that means from employee id we have every data one two three one two three correspondingly the age should be also coming over here and i'm picking up designation from the second table so and there i can join between each and uh, every time in data scientist data scientist it's fine senior manager senior manager it's fine for three employee id three there is no such data over here that's why null value should be captured okay while doing the right join i'm picking up the employee table from the right table okay employee age from the left table and designation from the right table if this is the scenario i can get one two and four okay let me minimize the thing a bit so that everything should be in a single screen okay so you can get one two and four employee id employee age is not there okay for employee id four that's why it it is picking up null value okay and uh, this thing is present so i'm receiving this thing but employee id is coming from this employee id column is coming from the right table there is another thing called cross join i'll be learning this thing while doing the sql and why cross means uh, it will be not uh, setting up the relations between one reference should be taking from i mean from common employee id i'm not taking only this it will be just crossing so all the sets of combination should be present just like 145 data scientist for this particular row i'll be picking each of the row it's cross multiplication that's like you can see 145 and everything should be coming over here same thing 248 the second row and everything should be coming over here 350 for each individual records every records from designation it should be coming up over here okay so it's cross join we'll be covering this thing in the sql too now with a quick hands-on but the concept is it clear for everyone or uh, there is some issue Samia, i think you know join but uh, uh, is it understandable Samia harish uh, yes sir. okay so i'll be just trying to do the same thing to show you the syntaxes for joins in sql this is very very important stuff so if you will be learning i mean i think you have already uh, working or you are already working in uh, data engineering courses or uh, projects live projects so hopefully you know these things but just to brush up these things for you whoever is already knowing this thing and from whom it's totally new what is joins and all this is very much crucial concepts because join would be using each and every steps for our data engineering complex calculation we should not be having a single table to picking up records there we should be having multiple tables so we need to search which columns based on which column we need to join and where to populate the data and all so please learn the join uh, very carefully if there is any doubt point or any stuck point really ask me okay now i need to create two tables having this kind of data let me show you i have these two table already created in this database employee designation 
Vacancy, employee ID and designation, employee detail, employee ID and employee age. Okay. I just need to pull the table from this database to this database, data data training database. Okay. So how to do that? Let me delete everything from here. Okay, so let me create. Okay, I received some chat over here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Actually, uh, no, I'm not sure. What is your name? Yeah, I'm Mandeep. Sir. My name is Mandeep. Mandeep, is it yes. so? Okay, yeah. hi Mandeep. So, uh, yes, yeah, actually, uh, we have started the class from beginning of this week. For this course okay. and in the youtube i mean uh, you, uh in the particular whatsapp group i think you have you are add, added there so there is a youtube channel mm -hmm. uh, mentioned at the group description itself so try okay. to open that one and start checking the classes starting from this monday sure, from sure. 15th onwards you can receive yeah. the thing okay yeah, definitely and try to learn but if there is any stuck point or anything while learning but uh, every day it's very basic it is to oh. i mean a bit dependent from the previous class that is fine mm -hmm. how to create the tables oh. and all uh, if you do not know the dds dmls those kind of languages okay. uh, in sql then it should be a difficult if you tell me i can show you but you can definitely go through the recordings these are very simple and once you can go through then it is easy to learn Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Now, uh, what I'm just going to do, I'll be just trying to copy those two table from Ronnie underscore test database to Tetra Data Training database, and after that, I'll be doing the joining purpose over here. So, how to do that? We can apply the same thing. Create keyword. Okay, Mandi, for you. I'm creating a table. Table is the basic unit of database. Okay. So we are learning data engineering over here. We are storing data uh, in a tabular format, having columns and all. Okay. So I'm creating a table, a same kind of table. Create employee designation. I can put the Database name at the beginning. Data data underscore training. Okay. This database, I do not have the. This database, I do not have that particular table. Employee designation. So I'm copying this table from this schema. So create table. Table name. In the table name, I'm mentioning the database because we have this table in there, there but not here. So I have to create the table into this database. That's why I'm putting the database name over here. Database name dot table name. As select star from this database. Employee designation. I'm just copying and dragging it here. But I need to put the database name. Otherwise it should be giving me an error. Okay, so I'm selecting data from this table and pushing this data into, okay, I'm not pushing, I'm creating a tables, then I'm pushing. I'll be creating this table and then I'll be pushing. Okay, this has been executed. I can refresh the thing and I can see employee designation has been created. The same thing I can do from detail table as well. I'm executing it. You can see. Okay. Employee designation and employee detail has been created properly. Now I'm deleting this statement. It's no more required. I'm doing a select star from each of the table.
Okay, for employee table, only two records are there. Let me insert one more records. Now, uh, Mandeep, okay, Mandeep, you have dropped. So I need to execute on DML statement. Insert into employee designation values. So what are the other values? For analyst. So that should be for I'm inserting a record just to keep it in a sync, whatever we have learned in this Excel. Okay. It's been inserted. Let me check. Yes, the data are fine. Okay. One, two, three. Over here, one, two, four. Fine. Let me do joining operation between these two tables. How to do that? So I need to put the table name together. Let me put employee table first. Okay. As I told, now we will be using table name aliases over here. So let's alias this table as A. Okay. And this table as B. Okay. Because when we'll be doing joining, we need do not need to put this entire table setup dot column. It will it is a big thing. Rather putting this thing, I can put only A and B should be representing this thing. I'm I'm just putting the join clause okay between two tables. So what I'm done, I'm calling this table, I'm calling this table and putting a join thing. So if we do not put inner join, then by default, the join should be inner in nature. You can also put inner join. There should be same output. If we put only join, it should be working by default as a inner join. Okay. Now, I'm not putting which thing to be selected. From combination of those two tables, I can select any of the four columns. Okay. Because when we are joining, we can traverse those four columns. Whatever I'm required, whatever I required to show at my output console, I can choose any of them. Okay. Let's pick up all of them. Okay. By this same order. I'll be just doing that thing. And before that, I need to create the joining clause. That means based on which column I'll be doing the join. So a dot employee ID equal B dot employee ID. So this is the clause from a table. I'm taking employee ID from B table. I'm taking the employee ID. Okay. So I'm joining between these two. So this is the joining clause. Now I need to select which are the columns I want to visualize at my output. So of course from A table it should be A dot employee ID. A dot employee age. Give me one second. Okay, employee age, sorry for that. B dot employee ID. B dot, what was there for B table? Designation, right? Yes. Okay, I'm selecting all those four things. Okay, the first two things are coming from A table. And the second two things are coming from B table. Okay. Uh, okay, I need to put an on thing, on keyword. On which column? Yeah, it should be specified by on column. On this equal to this. Okay, let me run this. Okay, as per expectation, 
one and two are the common thing and I'm receiving the data in a similar manner. Now I'm doing the left join. While treating the left join as this table is mentioned, my left side, it should be working as left table. As this is, I have mentioned the right table. So this will be working my right table. So as I said, doing the left join, this should be our, my main reference. So all the data from A table should be coming. And based on the reference while doing the joining setup, whichever employee ID is there for employee ID A, that should be returned. But which are not there for this table, that should be returned null value. Let me run it. You can get in this manner. So for employee ID 3, there is no such record for this table. So that's why we have zero records or blank value is there. Okay. If I do the right join, then it is our main reference table. So referring that thing will be joining with that one. If I run the same thing, we can we can get. So everything should be present for this two table because this selection is the main thing over here. This employee ID is made. Based on that, it will be checking their data set and they'll be checking. The employee ID 4 is not available over here. So it will be throwing an error. Uh, no, sorry, it will not throwing an error. It will be passing null value for uh, the first, uh, whatever I'm selecting from the first table, it will be throwing null value. Okay, so this is the resultant data set. Any doubt points from Harish or Soumya? Anyone? Any doubt points from joining stuffs? I'll be I'll be uh, giving you the exercises of SQLs doing joins and all. So please clarify your doubts. If there is anything, nothing. Okay, cool. So how to do the cross join? You can put cross join over here. While doing the cross join, we should not have to put this on condition. We just have to directly put first table cross join second table. No condition should be mentioned over here. It will be then crossing the stops. Okay. I just sorted on top of employee ID. And you can see this is the output for each of the first row of first table, it's getting repeated in the second table. So this is the concept of cross join. Okay, so you have covered up all the three joins, three or four joins, which is the main thing over here. I'll, I'll be giving the exercises maybe Monday or Tuesday on based on SQL that the join should be there as well. So I'll be expecting you should be covering this thing by your own. Okay. Uh, if there is any doubt, please tell me for today's session. We have covered everything for today as per the planning. Any doubt from anyone? Any stuck point? No, no, no. Okay, okay, that's great. Okay, uh, let's connect about the very next day with uh, having some very uh, examples, I mean, Lord, hands of thing. And I'll be preparing yeah. an exercise for you. Uh, okay, so the recordings are provided uh, to Jessica or is it uploaded? It should be. Let me check from the WhatsApp. So, okay. Yeah, I provided, uh, actually I provide the link to Upender Jadav with there. So he used to uh, uploading it. Okay. Let me okay, check. I will check with Jessica. Yeah, Lawrence, yeah. Can you please provide us the link uh, if you have that? 
I have the link till uh, to yesterday session. This is last two days class. In YouTube, you, you can get everything. I am just uh, creating the link for each, I mean, uh, two days. Okay. So I think he okay. has pushed it into YouTube channel. Okay. Better, I mean, you can check okay. it from there only. You can get everything. Okay. But okay, okay. check with the uh, date first. Not, not sure what happens. Okay, check it from there. If you're not able to find, uh, you can put a comment over there in our WhatsApp group. Then Upendra or Lohit, anyone can respond and give you the link. Yeah, sure. Sure, okay. sure, sure, sure. But start checking the thing from 15th onwards. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all for today. Let's connect Monday. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Sure, Monday. Thank you. See you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye.